Hello all, in this video we will solve some of the problems on relational algebra. Yes, uh, here we have got three tables that is sailors, reserves and boats. Yeah, in sailors we have got four attributes uh, that is uh, sailor ID, sailor name, rating and age. And in boats we have got three attributes that is boat ID, boat name and the color of the boat. And in reserves. Uh, uh, we have the information about the sailors who have reserved the boat that is uh, sailor id boat id and the date uh, in which uh, uh, it has been uh, the boat has been reserved uh, let us solve some of the examples find the names of the sailors who have reserved boat 103 yes uh, yeah in order to find the names of the sailors who have reserved the boat I need to join sailors and reserves so here I they can just perform a natural join uh, because uh, uh, we have got attribute sailor ID common in both the relation okay so yes we have just joined the sailors and uh, reserves table relation and just a condition they're selecting the tuple where boat is equal to 103 uh, using a Sigma operation uh, just select those tuples where boat ID is equal to 103 and at last just retrieve the sailor name using pi operation okay so finally uh, the resultant relation consists of the names of the sailors who have reserved the boat 103 okay yes yes let us solve some other example find the names of the sailors who have reserved a red boat yes um, again I need to join sailors and reserves in order to find the names of the sailors who have reserved a boat I need to perform a natural join operation between sailors and reserves as, as you can see here the resultant relation is nothing but the information of the sailors who have reserved the boat yes now we want this information of the the names of the sailors who have reserved a red boat again the resultant relation has to be uh, joined with the boats okay uh, yes you can see here the the resultant relation uh, sailors uh, reserved relation is joined with the boats and again it has a condition on a boat is that the color of the boat should be red yes we have got um, a sigma operation uh, where color is equal to red for the relation boats so, and ultimately just retrieve the names of the sailors so that is using pi operation just retrieve the name of the sailors yes the final resultant relation consists of the names of the sailor who have reserved the red boat yes let us look into the next uh, uh, problem find the colors of boats reserved by Luber here Luber is nothing but the sailor name you can as you can see here uh, Luber is nothing but the sailor name so uh, I need to find the colors of boat reserved by sailor Luber so first uh, I'll be joining reserves and boat so just perform a natural join because we have a uh, got uh, uh, boat idea is common in reserves and boats and just can perform a natural join and uh, after joining uh, we just retrieve those again you perform a join operation uh, with the sailors and yes ultimately I can just retrieve those tuples where sailor name is equal to Luber and finally just get the color of those boat so finally uh, the resultant relation is nothing but the colors of boat reserved by Luber so the one thing is very important is in a sailor table uh, we have got just information about the sailors so if I want those information about the some sailors have reserved the boat as you can see here uh, 85 and the 95 uh, uh, the sailor name with the sailor name Art and Bob they don't uh, they don't reserve any boat so uh, if I want those names of the sailors who have reserved the boat I need to join sailors and reserves okay uh, yes um, that's it about this uh, problem uh, let us solve next problem 
find the names of the sailors who have reserved at least one boat yes find the names of the sailors is available in a sailor relation who have reserved at least one boat uh, this is a very simple question as you can see here uh, there are as you as i already said in the previous slide there are some of the sailors who have not reserved but but in reserves we have a column called a sailor id so this information gives those sailors who have at least reserved one boat so uh, i can just join sailors and reserves and just retrieve the sailor name that is very pretty much simple direct questions so uh, the names of the sailors who have reserved at least one boat so all the information about the sailors who have reserved the boat is available in a reserve table and yes if i want their name i need to perform the natural join operation with the sailors uh, and ultimately retrieve the name using a pi operation so the final resultant operation is nothing but uh, the names of the sailors who have reserved at least one boat yes uh, let us solve the next question find the names of the sailors who have reserved a red or a green boat yes uh, some sailors might reserve a red boat or some sailors might res reserve green boat uh, I need I need those information about the sailors who have reserved red and red or green boat. So which means whenever there is an or uh, uh, in uh, or uh, word in your uh, statement, which means you need to make use of a union operation. At the same time, whenever there is and uh, a word in the in the question. So for example, whenever there is uh, a statement like red and green boat. So in that case, intersection operation okay and if at all if you have any phrase called as for all uh, which means you make you need to make use of a division operation since uh, here uh, in the question we have a or word which means you need to make use of a union operation uh, the names of uh, sailors who have reserved red or green boat so before that uh, we'll be just selecting those tuple of red and green boat uh, that could be done uh, here we have uh, 102 and 104 are the red uh, uh, boats and um, 103 is a green boat so that tuples can be selected using a sigma operation yes um, from the boats uh, just uh, select the tuples where color is equal to green and where color is equal to red and perform union operation and the resultant relation is nothing but the the boats uh, the the details of the boat uh, with color red and green okay uh, yes next next i need to join reserves and sailors yes this is important because if i want the names of the sailors who have reserved i need to join sailors and reserves yes and again perform a join operation with the uh, with the the intermediate relation and finally retrieve the names of the sailors yes so then the final resultant relation is nothing but the names of the sailors who have reserved red or green boat okay yes yes um, let us solve this problem find the names of sailors who have reserved a red and a green boat yes here we have an red and green boat which means uh, we need to make use of intersection operation okay first let us retrieve the sailor ids who reserved a red boat after that we'll retrieve those sailor ids who reserved green boat and then perform a intersection operation yes uh, okay let us join reserves and boats and then select the tuple where color of the boat is red like this join boats and reserves then select the tuple where color of the boat is equal to red and after you join the two tables the resultant relation have five columns so out of the five columns i just want only sailor id that can be retrieved by making use of a notation pi okay and sigma is used to select the tuples or rows okay uh, the resultant relation is nothing but the sailor ids who have reserved red colored boat okay now let us uh, retrieve the information of sailor id who reserved green colored boat yes uh, boats into reserves uh, just retrieve the green colored 
tuples of green colored boards and just retrieve the column that is sailor id now we need to perform an intersection operation between these two intermediate relation yes perform an intersection operation because these two relation consist of the sailor ids who have reserved red and this relay inter uh, this relation consists of the sailor id who have reserved green board and when i perform an intersection operation so we get retrieve those sailors who have who have reserved both green and red colored board and in order to get their name we need to perform a natural join with sailors okay so when i perform a natural join with sailors the resultant relation will have uh, uh, four attributes so i just select this this sailor name i just want the sailor name that's it uh, that could be retrieved by making use of a pi operation yes thus the 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 resultant relation consists of the names of the sailors who have reserved red and green boat yes um let us solve this problem find the sids of sailors with age over 20 who have not reserved yes um i need to find the sailor ids of sailors with age over 20 yes uh the age is available in a sailor's column so i just put a condition that age should be greater than 20 okay with the uh, with the sigma operation i just uh, can uh, implement a condition that where age is greater than 20 who have not reserved yes as you can see here uh, in the reserves table uh, we have got sid so the sid is nothing but those information of the sailors who have reserved and yes we are in a sailors we have sid so this this is the information about all the sailors as you can see some all the sailors may not reserve the boat uh, like as you can see uh, the 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 sailor name uh, with the sid 85 and 95 that is art and bob uh, they have not reserved any uh, any any boats so i can just have a minus operation that is sailors dot sid minus reserve dot sid uh, will give me the the required result as you can say find the sids of sailors with age over 20 who have not reserved who have not reserved any boat for example the data should be available here or the sid should be available here and which is not available here so this is the information of the sailors who have reserved what i want is the information of sailors who have not reserved so i can just get it uh, from the minus operation what do you mean by a minus b operation the data which is available in a not in b is called as a minus b same way the data available in sid in sailors relation should not be available in a sid in a reserves relation so that is nothing but those that is nothing but the information of the sids who have not reserved okay yes first let me from the sailors let me retrieve those age uh, details of the age uh, greater than 20 uh, that that could be done using a sigma operation age greater than 20 sailors and and from the four columns i just want sailor id uh, that could be retrieved by using pi sid thus the resultant relation is nothing but the sailor id with age greater than 20 yes now I just need to perform a minus operation of SID of sailors minus SID of reserves. Yes. As you can see here, this is a SID of sailors minus reserves SID. Okay, SID of a reserves relation. So the resultant relation is nothing but the SIDs of the sailors with age over 20 and who have not reserved any boat yes uh, let us solve this problem now find the names of sailors who have reserved all boats yes we have got all phrase in our problem statement which means we need to make use of division operation now what should be the numerator and denominator so the denominator is nothing but the information about all the boats that is nothing but bid what should be the numerator so i want the sailors yes SID and BID that is the this these two should be the 
these two columns should be the numerator okay yes now let us retrieve those numerator and denominator uh, this is how we retrieve the denominator that is from the board's relation just retrieve the column bid pi bid from the relation boards this is a denominator and what is a numerator from reserves relation just retrieve yes id and bid yes this is how we have done using uh, uh, the pi notation and the resultant relation is nothing but the yes ids of sailors who have reserved all the boats like i can say for example 22 here have reserved all the boat of 101 1, 2 3 and 4 yes next what i want is to find the names of the sailor so names of the sailors are available in sailors relation so i need to perform a um, natural join with sailors so this intermediate relation should perform a natural join with sailors yeah, this is how it is done and yes the resultant relation uh, from the resultant relation i will just retrieve the column sailors name using pi operation thus my final resultant operation consists of the sailor names who have reserved all the boats yes let us consider one more uh, uh, problem statement and final uh, problem statement that is find the names of sailors who have reserved all boats called interlay again we have got all notation whenever we get all notation which thing which it, it, it is nothing but we it is we need to make use of division operation and uh, yes what should be the numerator and what should be the denominator as you can see in the question the denominator is nothing but the boats boat id with the boat name interlay the denominator is nothing but the information about the boats with the boat name interlake and the numerator is nothing but SID and BID. Yes, as you can see, uh, the denominator is the is nothing but the BID of the boat name interlake. So the boat name interlake is uh, I just selected that particular tuple is selected using a sigma operation. And the column BID just retrieved by making use of a pi operation. We just got the denominator. We'll see how to retrieve the numerator. Yes, SID and BID from the reserves relation. So that is make, make, making use of a pi operation. We just re retrieved SID, sailor ID, and boat ID from the reserves. Yes, um, again, as you can see, the resultant relation is nothing but the SIDs of the sailors who have reserved all boats called interlake and now this has to be joined with the sailors to retrieve the name uh, as you can see the SIDs has been performed a natural join with the sailors and then thus I can just retrieve the names of the sailors using a pi operation and finally the resultant relation is nothing but the names of the sailors who have reserved all boats called interlake okay yes um, that's it uh, in this video uh, please do like subscribe and share and if at all if you have any queries please do comment thank you so much